What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our VIP Weekly Signals Recaps. Now, this week we had a lot of trades. We had about 13 actual orders becoming executed. I think there were about 15 total orders, two of which we had to delete. Uh, but in this week's episode, I'm going to be highlighting some of the key factors in our weekly recaps. I'm going to start doing that from now on, seeing as we are having a lot more uh, volume in terms of the actual orders being sent out, because I know a lot of you guys uh, don't actually get to take the signals all the time. So again, that's what I'm doing on my part. I'm sending out more uh, a higher volume of orders is what I'm going to say. So again, I'm going to start highlighting the key orders throughout the week. I'm not going to do every single one anymore. And uh, yeah, we're going to hop right into it, starting with our gold order. So these are the three orders I'm going to be highlighting this week. We had one order get closed out early and slap stops. Another order stopped out, but we did close out at about 40 pips for this. And we ended off the week on a very high note, uh, pulling at about almost 200 pips total. Uh, but the order did return and we walked away with about 100, 150 pips or so. So sort of things off, we're going to start off with the higher gold buy. Now, this was a buy of what was supposed to be respected newfound support, uh, former resistance. And as you can see, I did buy off of a break in a smaller zone. Of course, the market did play above for a little bit, but unfortunately would return to our stops. But we did close out about 15 pips or so. Now, the reason this trade is being highlighted, even though it was a very, very, very small uh, reward walking away, is because I did not identify two things correctly. I failed to identify the higher actually respected resistance, and I decided to consider this a supposed market break. So that was my fault. I do recommend checking the higher time frames. I failed to do so, which ultimately resulted in our order returning to stops but again i like i said we did walk away with about 15 pips and even though it is 15 pips on gold it's still 15 pips and is a very very small return now moving on i'm trying to fix my chart here for you guys and you guys can see i am messing that up but continuing on we have a sell-off on gold on what was supposed to be considered a support break and now become new resistance but that did not happen again we did walk away with about 40 pips i believe on this trade if i can get that correct yeah about 40 pips and the market would return to go back towards our stop loss now this trade again executed on what was supposed to be a support break and become new resistance but if we were to go on the higher time frames which is what i should have done earlier we would see that we were in a very very low position and what looks to become a new uptrend following on the gold's recent dump down to the 1870 region so again this is not a reasonable identification but i am going to assume that gold is going to become a higher trending pair working up on an uptrend simply because of the position we are currently in in the markets we are running on a very very nice overall uptrend and that's what i have to expect for gold going forward i do expect it to move into the higher levels uh, up and toward the 1900 region so that is our second order on gold. And finally, we ended gold, or sorry, we finally ended the week on a very, very high note, walking away with what could have been 200 to 300 pips. But, oh, wrong one. But again, this was an order where I wasn't actually around at the time. I wasn't at my laptop and I wasn't on my phone. I wasn't at my desk. I wasn't able to call out this trade and close it off in a higher return. And that's simply how the game's gonna go sometimes. But nonetheless, we did walk away with about 120 pips closing up this trade just off of this huge volatility wick. Now, going into this actual trade's execution, it was played off of the recent break back up into the higher resistance, new support. So trade broke above. We had some slippage going just below that former support. Market moved back up with a huge bullish wick to the highs. Market respected the former support and new resistance very, very nicely returned back to retrace and, and retest that former support huge sideways trend for a little bit before the market decided to break back into the bulls so market moved extremely bullish for about four or five hours total that caused the break back above and this is why i believe the market is going to continue up on the uptrend this area i'm going to mark up right over here is a nice zone accumulation phase so I believe gold's overall trend is going to be going into the next week is going to be a nice area of bullish momentum. And I do 
recommend you guys stay around for next week and pay attention to the signals because I believe I'm going to be calling out three or four gold trades total. So keep an eye out for that. But next, we're going to go look at U.S. oil and I almost called it U.S. oil. And this trade was very, very nice. We walked away with 105 pips total and it was a beautiful buy going immediately into profit after testing the lows for a little bit. And the reason for this orders call out was simply because the nice area of support that was forming huge sideways trend, huge accumulation phase playing out. And it was a matter of time before I saw the bullish trend to form now quickly going to the four hour here. I want to show you guys an area that I did not actually mark up, which was this zone right here. And the reason that zone is very, very important is because after oil consolidates for a few hours, there's always going to be a move to the highs or the lows. So huge consolidation zone, market move to the highs and immediately dumps off. So the areas I'm looking for are these nice bullish trends. We have them here. I'm actually going to start marking them up for you guys. We have them here. Let me lock that pen. We have it here, have it here, have it here, have it here. As you guys can see, it does play out over and over and over again. Now the area over here, very, very similar. Let me delete that. We have it over here. We have it over here a little bit. Like you guys can see, there are huge areas of sideways action, huge areas of consolidation. And despite this being the four hour, these moves are very, very big and very, very prominent. So again, I like to look at charts on the four hour to see areas of confusion, areas of high traffic, areas of high activity. And based on the playouts for US oil, it was only a matter of time before this downtrend were to pull back and catch the reversal. Now, you guys always hear that we're not supposed to buy downtrends. Well, this is oil. This is going to be a nice zone area. If you look at the, the uh, one hour chart, you're going to see these nice areas of sideways action. These are accumulation phases. The market maker is looking to attract more orders, get more sellers into because, again, we are on a downtrend. Market maker is looking to trap the sellers. And we were in a nice area of sideways action. It was a matter of time before the support was to be respected. So anyways, carrying on from the U.S. oil trade into our last big money signals channel call out. This is all the bigger pairs. We're going to hop into the nice SPX 500. Now, immediately looking at this chart, we had two buy orders that were sent out. The first being a nice break in support. As you guys can see, it did hit our stops. But the reason I took this trade was, again, nice break above the resistance, acting as new support. I'm trying to find my ruler here. And we did cap about 110 pips. But this trade did hit the break even. We did modify our stops after those 100 pips, 100 points. And that's simply because I expected there to be a nice reversal in momentum. But that was not the case. The trade did reverse back down to hit our stop loss before accumulating in a lower zone. And that's what caused the second order to be sent out, which would be two buy limit orders. The first one, well, sorry, one buy limit order and one market execution. The buy limit order was sent out very, very late. I'm going to hide this one really quickly. It was sent out late. We actually were supposed to get in at the 1334.6 range. So the buy limit did not actually end up getting triggered. We ended up having to market execute at the higher order right over here. The market did move up about 100. Let me check right here. Sorry, about 624 pips before reversing back down. Now we did close out the trade with about 400 pips total. We did close out in a lower wick zone. And again, that's simply because I wasn't checking my phone at the time and I did not have a trade alert set. Now, our buy limit did get deleted. I know a few of you actually ended up keeping this order. It did ping the order off before rising about 400 pips before market closure. And I did sorry about 500 pips actually and so i do believe a few of you are swinging this trade i do recommend moving your stops to break even right away or even securing a few hundred pips of profit because i do think there's going to be a lower test to the 1357 sorry to the 3257 range i'm expecting this former pullback here to be acting as new support so again those of you holding the trade currently once market opens i recommend you close that trade or move your stops to break even because there's going to be another retest before the market takes off into a higher zone. Now, why do I think that? Well, we are playing in a lower range. I don't think SPX is going to hit anywhere down towards the 3211 range. I do believe we're going to make a move back up before one more retrace to the low. So 
based off of that those are the highlighted trades for this week's big currency signals i don't want to make this video too long for you guys that's why i'm going through these highlighted trades a little bit quicker than usual but we're gonna hop right into the currency trades i will see you guys in one moment all right so when it comes to the currencies channel we did have a very poor week there was not a lot of action going on simply because we have a very very slow fourth quarter to this year's closure markets are going to be very very whack uh, a lot of technical analysis being broken and simply because there is more money going on in the gold and in dice channels currently now with that said I am going to be looking and paying attention more to the currencies this week. I am going to be paying a lot more attention to the GBP and US pairs as we get closer and closer to election day. Now, one thing I want to make very clear is if Donald Trump loses, we are going to see one of the biggest crashes in the US dollar in most recent years. Now, if he wins, we are going to see a very, very huge spike in the price. We are going to see a lot of high volatility. And with that said, I'm going to make sure you guys are very, very cautious going into the next two weeks. So pay close attention to that, especially those of you who are very new to trading. Uh, if you guys are still learning, stick to your demos. If you guys are not really familiar with the markets, but you have a little, but you have an open live account, again, apply extra caution, lower your lot size if you need to. Just take any precautions going into next week and the week following as you might need to do so. So with that said, we're going to highlight this GBP USD trade. We walked away with about 55 to 60 pips. This trade was based off of a current uptrend break above the meeting downtrend. Now, by uptrend, I mean the uptrending in the market. Downtrending, of course, coming down from the higher peak. Now, aside from that, this also forms a very nice wedge pattern followed by support new resistance. Now, the reason we entered this trade is simply because we had huge wicks to the low. A lot of action going down in the lower pricing i did expect the market to dip below which it actually did market actually executed from this candle uh not from the candle over here on the right the wick did not actually activate or retest market did break above it broke the downtrend nicely the way i had just simply envisioned and the reason for the early closure the reason for the late closure is simply because the market did not actually break above i expected the market to continue back up but of course it did come back down retest the trend line before breaking back below so off of this breakdown here again this is going to be very very quick very to the point is simply because i am highlighting the important trades we have two more trades from the currency channel i want to break down and both of them are losses we did end up losing 20 pips in the currency channel which is very upsetting we've never actually ended off on a losing week and this is not to say this is a losing week we just had a losing week in one of the channels so we are still flawless going into next week flawless i mean we are actually up 70 weeks since our open we we've been opened and running in the signals channel for about 70 plus weeks and we have never had a losing week and i intend to keep that going but i don't want to stall anymore we're going to hop into gbp cad this trade we lost about 35 pips and it followed back through to slap our take profit after the stop out so this is a stop hunt for those of you who are not familiar a stop hunt is when the market makes a move for your stop loss triggers it and then immediately enters and follows the direction you previously anticipated so this trade was very simple a nice area of resistance going on to the four hour you can see the market hasn't been this high since september september 6th at nine o'clock so again i didn't expect the market to break too far above of course it decided to wick out the one time i want to take gbp cad trades and as you can see the week before it didn't even trigger our uh limit order but it immediately went towards our take profit so gbp cad and i have some uh work to do together but off of this trade nice area of resistance peak high from october 21st expected it to retest nicely of course it retested nicer than i expected if i had my stop loss at 45 pips the way I usually would have had it, we would have had our take profit hit, but it's just how it's going to go. It doesn't always go our way. And wrapping this trade up, we're going to hop into NZD USD to end off the week with another loss, 30 pips, and the final trade of this breakdown. But hmm, looks like another stop hunt move. Nope, I lied. That was the four hour. Market was anticipating, or sorry, I was anticipating a nice uptrend formation followed by an area of support 
that support was actually far weaker than I previously thought it was going to be. But the way I could have actually saw this trade playing out even better would have been to identify that this trade or sorry, this zone area in the market is very, very weak, very, very fragile and should not have been a nice area of support. This should have actually been a nice area of resistance had the market broke down below even further. But I decided to identify that zone as a nice area of support, which is a very, very faulty move on my part. And I do believe this trade was sent out. Uh, no, it was sent out in the afternoon. I was going to say I probably wasn't paying attention properly, but nope, this trade was sent out in the afternoon. And I decided to play off that area as nice support. So I'm going to put a note here. Just so I can have future reference, not good support. Just something to remind myself going forward because we all need a little reminder here and there. But that's going to wrap up this week's weekly recap. Very, very short, very to the point. I'm going to start doing these videos as highlight sections and not going to cover each and every trade. I'm going to point out the important trades from the week, the important losses, and more importantly, the important wins and the very nice and perfect sniper trades. But if you guys liked the video, but if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. If you have any questions or anything you want me to see in the next video, please shoot me a DM. You guys know where I am or shoot me a Discord message. You guys can always reach out to me and I will make sure you guys are taken care of. Uh, but anyways, that's going to wrap up this week's video. Take care and I will see you guys at Sunday Market Open.